my English 101 course online, my Blackboard course. And um, I would say that this is just one way to organize an English 101 online class. There are many different ways to do it. I have the assignment folder up top where hopefully students can easily see it. You'll see I have these sort of fun little icons. You know, I've been teaching online for a while, so I've got some bells and whistles here that you don't really need. You don't need this icon. All you need is something, you know, like assignments so students know what's in that folder. So if students click on that folder, they'll see assignment folders for the entire semester. All 15 weeks. If they click on one of the assignment folders or look at the assignment folder, they see the assignment folders are labeled by the units and the due dates are clearly indicated. If they click on unit four, they see that every first they'll see the assignment list and they'll see that everything they need to complete the assignments is in the assignment folder. So there's an article, it's a New York Times article. If I click on this, I get that article. There's a PowerPoint that would replicate my lecture. You could also do a video. And then there's a quiz. The quiz is based on the PowerPoint. Students submit their assignments in the discussion forums. I like to use the discussion forums because I like to ask the students to read each other's postings. There's also an assignment drop box that's very useful for submitting assignments as well. If we click on the Unit 4 form, we'll see there's Michael's posting and the response, the RE response uh, here. We can see uh, Joseph has responded, Marissa has responded, Jordan has responded, and Caitlin has responded to Michael. So they're having a conversation here based on the article. If we click on this grade tab, see the grades for all the students. I give the students three points, three pieces of assessment. They get a grade, they get a rubric, and again the rubric takes some time to put together, but I think it's a useful tool to show students where they've gained points and where they've lost points. And I also give them comments, personal comments. I use the announcement feature to make announcements. So when I create an announcement, I put it in the text box, put something in subject heading like you would do for any email, and then I scroll down. I click on this box here. So this way the students can view their announcements in the announcement area, in the left navigation bar, but the announcement also gets sent to their college Outlook email. Students also have access to their grade book. Faculty grade book is at the bottom. So here we can see students' grades. Obviously, the students in their own grade book can only see their own grades. But here I can view when the students access Blackboard last and the grades for the semester. So again, this is just one way to organize an English 101 online class. There are other ways to do it, but I find this 